for a while. Yeah, it was good. I think you know the one thing the the boys in Devil was there today. I thought they you know they attacked the ball hard, the man hard, and you know against a formidable side like Fremantle, you always have to play that way, which is a a good way to be. And you know to the guys' credit, they they fought it out. Unfortunately, they just weren't good enough at the end of the day. Yeah, you know I think we looked at it and we gave up eight centre forward goals. And I think about five or six of those were uh, you know skill errors where we just handed the ball back, unfortunately, and. You know, give credit to Hayden Ballantyne. His pressure was outstanding a couple of times across half four when we thought we were out, and then to end up getting on the end of him too, which uh, look he's a great player. And unfortunately, if you give a guy a chance like that, he uh, he hurts you going the other way. Is there, is there an element of, of not playing mentally switched on though when you can see runs of you know seven goals and five goals? Yeah, look, it happens within games all the time. Um, yeah, I think we're one of, funnily enough, until the last two weeks, we're one of the better sides at containing runs. We've just had a bad, bad couple of weeks. I think we gave up five goals today, and last week obviously gave up six or seven. I can't remember, or it might have been eight. Um, you know, so it's in isolation. If it becomes a concern, we'll, we'll look at it. But there's things in play where, you know, we're just not winning the, the contest. You know, we give away a free kick, we end up a goal. Uh, five takes an enormous mark, ends up in a goal. So there's things that the other side are doing that are good play and some silly mistakes we're giving them that are scoring goals against as well. So uh, momentum swings are funny. If you look at them just from a goals point of view, you've got to look at uh, the chains and where they're coming from that, to give you a better indication of what they are. In terms of those chains, that, was that like, was it, there a low grade element to there that didn't seem to be playing? I think the study test marks were just like seven in the third quarter compared to 54 in the first half of that. Was it a slight drop? Yeah, not so much a work rate point of view, but, but probably similar where you don't win contest a ball. I can't remember what it was the first 15 minutes, but we've got a system in there that tells it was all red. The ball was going their way and you know, then the pressure comes and you start blasting the ball out of defensive 50 and you've got your numbers there and they've got numbers around the contest that's further up the field and you lose that contest, it comes straight back in. So we just had to get better around that and when we did have possession of the ball, work it and control the ball, which we didn't do, like you said, I think... You know, uncontested marks, I think in the third quarter, we might have had five, I think, for the quarter, which is well down on, say, 20 that we had over the course of the other ones. It must be really galling cool as well. Like, like, you saw in the first half last week how good you can be. You saw in patches today, the second quarter. Then again, the, the, the second half of the, the last quarter as well, just how good you guys can be. And it, it, was it the intensity really stepped up in that? Yeah, I, I thought we were the better side for, you know... Oh, it's hard to say the better side. I think it was a pretty even contest throughout the course of the day. The, the fact is that you know Fremantle's efficiency were off turnover was outstanding. I think they kicked eight goals one to us, three goals nine. Um, that, that's always going to hurt you going the other way. You know, I think a lot of our shots on goal were, were regulation shots on goal that we should have kicked. And unfortunately, if you don't put scoreboard pressure on the opposition, especially a quality side like this mob, uh, you're going to get hurt going the other way. You know, you take your chances, you get the scoreboard ticking over, things can happen, but unfortunately, if you don't, you keep kicking two points, all of a sudden they kick a goal, they get six. Do you, do you think you've seen improvement over the last couple of weeks? Yeah, I think we've seen improvement, but we're not getting any wins. That, that's a thing that you measure your improvement on. There, there's certain, some areas that we're, you know, think we're playing a lot better in. Uh, the fact of the matter is we're still, what, what are we, three and nine? Nowhere near where we want to be, and... You know, it's a performance industry and we're nowhere near uh, where we thought we'd be and more importantly we've, you know, we've got some, some work to do on some areas that we still need to improve. Is um, Jack Rick on the can? What do you make of his Yeah, it's a funny one. I think he took maybe eight marks inside 50, kicks one goal five. You know, his goal kicking was, was disappointing. I thought his overall work rate was very good. I thought he beat his opponent. Unfortunately though, he's paid to kick goals. One goal five doesn't cut it, he knows that. He's a big game performer, he's just got to make sure that he, he kicks goes, those goals when we require them because that's the scoreboard pressure we speak about. Is right? Is it yeah, he, he was fine, he came back on, just jarred his, uh, jarred his ankle, I think. Yeah, I thought he was terrific. He's One thing he does, he wins a hard ball. I think he might have had eight or ten clearances, I'm not too sure what it was, but you know, and he uses the ball really well also. So. You know, I think he's 21 years of age. He's going to get better as he gets older, and you know he's always a, he's a quality kid as well. So I'm really pleased he's found his way to our footy club. Which one? Sorry, the. 
Oh. <laughs> well, I'm not too sure. I actually thought it was... Uh, my understanding, if you've got pressure on, you're allowed to put it through for a point. So, depends how big the pressure is, I suppose. Look, I, I thought... I thought the umpiring was OK today. I just thought they made a mistake with that one. My, my opinion, you know, I'm sure they'll probably think otherwise, but uh, that was my opinion. I thought overall the standard was better, much better this week. Marriage is a real sort of worry for you, but your sort of second big man role must have been giving you a few headaches over the weeks. Uh, Sean wasn't great today. Yeah, I thought he was OK. He competed really well. You know, it's probably up for me to sum up his performance. I'll do that. Um, I, I thought he was OK. He competed really hard. Um, you know, look, obviously Ty goes out suspended, which is disappointing. Ben Griffiths has been a bit up and down. We probably haven't found the, the perfect foil as a second one. You know, we bring in Aaron today. I thought he was pretty good also. So we've got some work. thing is we've got some talent down there that's improving as well. So let's continue to work on that. Yeah, I think we're looking to make a statement every game we play. I'd be disappointed if we tried to fire up for one game more so than another. We've just got to maintain our consistency over four quarters. You know, three quarters today was OK. That, that Obviously, the uh, the third quarter was disappointing, so it's got to rectify that and, and get the game on our terms. Look, Sydney are an outstanding side. I think, you know, Tippett will probably be still out. I'm not too sure, but uh, we're going to have our work cut out for us. I'm not sure if we get any guys back, but uh, we'll continue to, you know, hit in hard and try and get that ball going our way. Yeah, I actually thought he was good. He played the role we were after him today and, you know, just tried to, you know, take Crowley forward for the majority of the day. I thought, you know, he kicked... He might have kicked one on Crowley. I think he got... Moved, you know, Crowley moved after half-time, which was probably more a reflection of, you know, Brett prepared to sacrifice his role for, for the team and, uh, you know, Trent's dominance probably in the middle through that second quarter. So, look, I thought overall from a match-up point of view, you know, Ryan Crowley's an impressive player. I'd love to have him in our side, but I thought we can probably tick that one off to say this and probably worked OK for us in the end. Mm. Thanks, guys. Thanks,